everyone and welcome back to my channel where we talk about all things fragrance and things that smell amazing. If you're new here, my name is Sinead. Thank you so much for watching. For today's video, I want to compare and give you the similarities between Maison France's Kirk de Jean's Oud Set Mood and Nina Ritchie's Rose L'Extaz Absolute. So if you've never heard of these two fragrances and you want to learn more about them, just keep on watching. So guys, I was excited to film this video for you guys because I have been ranting and raving about loving Oud Set and Mood by MFK, but the price point to me was just a little bit more than I wanted to spend at that point. So I found something that might be similar to that fragrance and I wanted to share with you guys kind of the similarities and the comparison between the two. So I'm going to start off with the infamous MFK Oud Set and Mood. As you can see, I just have a decanter here. I'm not really sure if I want to purchase the entire bottle, but I have tested this out for about a month or so. This does, I'm going to spray it, not a lot because it is very potent, but um, I know here that it does have violet, it does have Damascus rose in it. Of course it has rose and um, oud and benzoin as everyone knows, but it does have some vanilla and amber in it as well. I'm going to let you guys know something right now. This one is not light and is not for the lighthearted. Just that simple. Guys, this is a serious fragrance. You have to be going somewhere for a special occasion to wear this. This is not, I'm hanging out with the girls, I'm hanging out with my friends, I'm running errands. This is not that at all. There is an occasion, there is a gala, there is a date, there is a special something going on for you to be wearing this particular fragrance. Like I said, it just calls for an occasion. You can't just throw this on like I do some of my fragrances. No, I gotta be going somewhere to put this on. Um, it will last you all day on your clothes and on your skin. So if you are a person who likes lighter fragrances, I would say this is not for you. If you are a person who has not been introduced to oud fragrances, I would say this is not for you. This is not an introductory oud. This isn't a lighter version of oud. No, this is strong. This is pungent. This is in your face. This is something where people are going to smell you and you're going to leave a trail and people are going to stop and ask you what you have on. I'm not going to lie. It is pretty expensive. So at the retail stores, Bloomingdale's, um, Saks, Nordstrom's, um, online, you know, at their Maison Francis, um, Kirkdujan.com. This will run you the um, regular size is $300. That's not a lot of money to some people. To me, it's not really a lot, but right now, I don't know if it's worth me putting that money down. So for everyone, that just depends on your budget, how you budget fragrances. So I wouldn't say it's not expensive, but to each its own, basically. Um, for me, this is a masterpiece of a fragrance. So I will admit that Maison Francis does amazing when he makes fragrances. All of them are masterpieces. They're all unique. They're all great. <laughs> They're all great, honestly. It's hard to describe a fragrance that is actually this good. You're probably thinking, well, why haven't you purchased it? I haven't purchased it yet because I don't know if I'm gonna wear that entire bottle throughout this lifetime. You get what I'm saying? Because it is such a fragrance that you have to wear for a specific occasion. I will only pull it out every once in a while. So I'm not sure if I really want that just sitting on my vanity just to say that I have it. I'm not sure of it yet. I'm telling you guys, this one is a good one. But I was told about one that has similar notes and a similar quality. So guys, I think I mentioned to you or I have a video on Nina Ricci's this is Lextas Rose Absolute. My girl Keiko talked me about it and I went ahead and I bought it. Guys, this one has black and it has pink pepper in it. Ooh, pepper. It has black and pink pepper in it. This also has rose, cedar, benzoin, oil, um, patchouli, oud, and vanilla, and then a little bit of praline I smell as well. Guys, this one is your more wearable version of the Oud Satin Mood, in my opinion, because this one has a syrupy rose, uh, jammy rose in the fragrance. So this one's going to have a sweeter take and a more wearable version than the Oud Satin Mood that I told you about. This is a gorgeous scent, just like the other one. But like I said, it's more wearable. So I could say this one is a introductory oud versus the oud satin mood. It's still mature, it's just still sophisticated, it's still luxurious. This one was a blind buy for me. Um, they don't have this in the store where I live to be able to smell it. So I just purchased it on a whim. I got it for fragrance net. It was about $50. So when you think $50 for this, $300 for that, I wanted to smell it to see if there were similar 
um, notes that I would like in the fragrance. <sighs> this one, luxurious, fancy, irresistible, rich. Just like that one. The only thing is if you love a rosy oud, a jammy, thick syrup oud, then you're gonna love this one. I personally wear this one a little bit more than Oud Satin Mood only because I'm not going anywhere so I don't want to have anywhere special to wear that one. So I tend to wear this one at night more for the fall. Would I say they are similar? Yes. Would I say they're dupes? No. Because they both have a special quality within the fragrance. So I say if you want an introductory Oud and you've never smelled Oud, get this one. If you want a special occasion Oud and you know you're going somewhere, then get this one. So it's all up to you, but I think both of them are great fragrances to have in your collection. There you have it guys. I hope you enjoyed the video for today where I compared and gave you some similarities between Oud Satin Mood and Lixtas Rose Absolute. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you like the vibe here over at this channel and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video for today. And until the next one guys, bye.